and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. In today's video we're going to be looking at the history of the milled crown. I say milled crown because originally the crown was a gold hammered coin and then a silver hammered coin. But the story begins in 1662 when King Charles II struck the first hammered crown. These coins were sterling silver weighing 29.5 grams and had a diameter of 39.5 millimetres. The coins stayed the exact same apart from the date in the monarch until the reign of George II who simplified the crown design to this um, but this was a short-lived design because from 1751 all the way up into 1818 no crowns were struck to circulation until 1818 when George III reintroduced the crown featuring the Benedetto Pastrucci George and the Dragon design that can be found on gold sovereigns the sterling silver was still the same but it was weighing less and the diameter was slightly smaller as well then it changed with the reign of William IV who introduced the most intricate design to ever be seen on crowns, the inspiration for this year's Platinum Jubilee £5 coin. But then was Queen Victoria, who changed the design once again to this. This design lasted from 1837 to 1847, when again in 1847, crowns stopped being struck for circulation, until her Jubilee in 1887, when they were reintroduced with the Benedetto Pucci design once again, but without the garter this time. This was also used on the coins of Edward VII, as we see here. But Edward the Seventh didn't reign for very long, and before we knew it, George V had introduced a new design of crown. This features a massive crown in the middle of the crown with floral emblems around. George V also issued the first commemorative crown, and here it is. Nicknamed the Rocking Horse Crown, this crown was released into circulation to celebrate his Silver Jubilee in 1935. Taking inspiration from this, George VI only issued commemorative crowns. First up was his coronation crown, released in 1937 to celebrate his coronation. And this would not be the last time we see a coronation crown. But in 1951, he released this coin to celebrate the Festival of Britain, having the original Benedetto Pucci design on there once again. Next up is this, a 1953 crown released to celebrate the coronation of Elizabeth II. The circulating crown at this point had this design. This was an old reference to the first ever crown, as we can see the similarities here. The next crown was the Churchill crown, released to celebrate the life and service of Sir Winston Churchill in 1965, on the year of his death. Now, decimalisation comes along and the crown is worth 25p, not 60 pence. The first decimal crown was the Silver Wedding of Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip, released in 1972. Shortly after, the Queen's Silver Jubilee coin was released in 1977, looking like this. Next up, in 1980, was the Queen Mother's 80th birthday, and a crown was released to celebrate this. The last crown ever released was this one, to celebrate the marriage of Prince Charles and Lady Diana Spencer. Then, crowns were called £5 coins as a big change happened. £5 coins can still technically be called crowns, and all the 25 pence crowns are still legal tender. Well, there we go. As always, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.